Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of Into the Viaverse, where we'll take a look at what's been new and added to Saswaya. Grab a cup of coffee and let's dive in. Maybe in the past you have received a SAS Studio flow like this, where you maybe get an error because you can't access this custom step or you want to share something with a colleague and he or she doesn't have access either. Now you can take a look at the notes pane of any of the custom steps and see the file location to quickly identify why somebody might not have, not have access and request access accordingly. This makes sharing much more easy and helps you to find those authorization errors. Next up, let's jump into Model Studio. To be specific, we are jumping into a forecasting pipeline and there we are going into an interactive modeling node where there has been some additional graphics added to ESM, Arima and IDM models. If you go to any of these types of models in the view diagnostic plot table dropdown, you can now go to forecasts and select model components to get awesome visualizations that help you identify component trends within your data. And of course, they're easily shareable with your colleagues and you can even maximize them to get a quicker view of what's happening and doing the mouse over to get additional information. The biggest changes have been added in SAS information catalog, where we have two types of additional features in here. Um, first up, we are looking at the additional features for the agents. We now get quick access to the error messages that have been produced if an agent ever fails. And second, we have now an enhancement to the abilities that an agent has. If you go to the configurations of any existing or new agent in your information catalog, you can go to the analysis options and enable topic discovery. And this is based on the ability to pull schemas from schema.org to build topic based identification for different topics, their parent terms and associated keywords. So for example, we get access to things like enumeration from the schema.org identities where payment methods, for example, are identified beneath it. And you can really dig down into the additional advantages that this provides. These topics are of course searchable. If we go to the search bar, you can search for topics by their actual name, by their keywords, by their parents to dive through your data assets as they generate and they, this information will also be surfaced in the summary of a data set. Additionally, we have one new feature, which is tags. These tags can be assigned to any asset within your data catalog. So let's first take a look on this demographics table. These assets or these tags show up on the right hand side on the main page of your data asset that you are looking at. You can click plus to add additional tags. For example, here in my environment, you can see I only have a churn tag now. So let's create one for demographic. Demographics. Demographic data. And because there's no such asset created yet, I can press enter to create this tag now. Click OK and this tag will be assigned to my data set. On the right hand side, I can quickly uh, search for this tag in my whole catalog or remove the tag. And of course, I can later on change all of these informations. We can also get access to this by searching through our data catalog. And when we take a look at the search results, we can also assign tags directly from this menu here to more quickly add them. And now you can see the tag has already been created in my environment. I can simply click it, add OK, and the tag will be assigned. And now let's search for this tag. And 
let's use the autocomplete functionality and hit enter. And now we can see our two data assets that have an associated tag with them directly through searching through this tag. In addition, the last month sees the release of a couple new custom steps that are available for download for you to use in your environment. First up is the cast step to load tables from folders and file systems, which is an awesome little utility that helps you to more quickly move your data from the file system into CAS. Next up, we have the utility to clone Git repositories through a step. This makes use of the SAS Git functionality to give you more code-driven abilities to interact with Git. And in the same vein, you have the ability now to directly delete a local copy of a repository in your flows. Next up, loading files from ADLS, especially Parquet files to load them directly to compute or CAS to more easily make the interaction and integration with Parquet for your users. And lastly, the ability to notify your team when a flow has run successfully inside of your team channel on uh, Microsoft Teams so that you have beautiful messages when a flow has finished. And the last amazing thing that has been done in the last uh, month is the ability to use our SAS CTL. This is a kind of like companion piece to the SAS CTL package that's ha that has been available for a while for Python, which gives you the ability to more easily interact with the SAS via platform and especially nice features wrapped around SAS model manager. It comes with some awesome examples and the documentation is also directly linked and nicely readable. A huge shout out to Eduardo for making this happen. It's an awesome tool and you should all go here and give this repository a nice little star. See you next time. Bye-bye.